Okay, we come to the end of our understanding with bitwise operator and this is the last one and that's bitwise complement operator. We are going to discuss about bitwise complement operator in this lecture. Now, unlike the previous bitwise operators that I have talked, this complement operator is unary operator. All the previous ones were actually binary operator. This bitwise complement operator is represented with the tilde sign and we prefix the tilde sign with the operand that means the variable on which we want to apply this so tilde x is actually going to invert each and every bit of x that means each of the zeros of x is going to be converted to ones and each and every one will be converted to zeros that's going to be ones complement of, of x so if you are having x as 5 if the value of x is 5 right now and if we are doing Com once complement of 5 then you're obviously going to get minus 6 and every bit of x is inverted in that case so that's the purpose of bitwise complement operator it inverts each and every bit of the operand on which you apply it so here is the program here we have x that is initialized with 5 that's an signed integer value and then I'm printing the bit configuration of x and then I'm complementing that and then after the complement, I'm printing again the bits of x and then I'm printing the values as well. So let's go ahead and run this. So you can see that 5 was 101 and then after application of the bitwise complement operator, each and every bit of 5 has been inverted and that we get minus 6. That's the once complement of 5. Now if I just add with this, obviously we are going to get the two's complement. That's going to be minus 5 so if I just do something like this here I just add 1 here with complement of x once complement of x obviously we are going to get 2's complement once complement plus 1 is 2's complement and obviously this x is going to be minus 5 so let's go ahead and run this once more to check out that here it is as you can see it here it's minus 5 right so that's it. That's how the bitwise complement works. It's an unary operator and that inverts each and every bit of the variable or the operand on which it is applied. So that makes the once complement of the variable. Okay, we come to the end of this and this is a new section that I have added. This, this was not with the initial course launch and I have added this later on. Please consider writing a review and provide a good rating for this course and uh, that really helps. Thank you very much for watching.